Welcome to OMG at Science. It's another day of badass science for me and for you. And today I'm going to do cell culture. So let's go. This is the chill room. Or just the fridge. It's five degrees here. Pitch dark. Make it light again. So this is a cool room. And this is my box. So here I keep my stuff. I just have to check whether everything is available to do cell culture. So what I'm doing now is checking if there's nothing flowing in my culture medium. That's the uh, liquid I grow my cells in, which is all kinds of supplements for uh, the cells. To see if there's not like uh, an infection inside. And this is what a bottle of unsupplemented culture medium looks like. Fancy red. It's called MCDB 131 medium times one. So, yeah, don't drink this. It's good for the cells. Not necessarily good for you. Okay, so we're back out of the fridge, which is actually freezing. Now we're going to the basement because cell culture is done in the basement. I think I was kind of lying when I said to you guys in the channel introduction that scientists don't do science in basements because actually we do do science in basements. This is how our cell culture lab looks like. So a fume hood to work with the cells, an incubator to grow the cells in, fridges to store everything in. So this is how a cell culture lab looks like. I prepared the culture media I'm going to get the cells out of the liquid nitrogen things and of course because liquid nitrogen is not that healthy for us we'll be wearing gloves and glasses always wear protection let's do this So the cells that I'm using, these cells are endothelial cells and these endothelial cells are the cells in our body that make up our blood vessels. And that's why I use them, exactly for that reason, because they are the first cells that probably come into contact with your nanoparticles. And another scan to get inside. If I were ever to lose this car, I would be screwed. Okay, so I've uh, defrozen my cells, put them in a tube and now put them in the centrifuge and what this does is by centrifugation it creates force, pushes your cells down to the bottom and then you can filter them out. These are the type of flasks that we grow cells in. As you can see, I've put the cells inside with the culture medium. And now we will put them in the incubator, which is at 37 degrees Celsius, so to mimic your body temperature. We got the cells out of the liquid nitrogen tank, start culturing them. We'll see how they're behaving next week. See for more better signs then. One week later. Okay, so today I will be getting new internees, people who will do their internship for a biomedical science master, and they will do it with me. So, gotta catch as much as possible.
I wanna be the very best Like no one ever was To test them is my real quest To train them is my call I will travel across the land Searching far and wide Isn't there needs to understand the power that's inside Internees gotta train them all to and me I know it's my destiny Internees, oh, you my best friend In a world we must understand Internees A brain so true Our knowledge will fall it's true You teach me and I teach you Internees Gotta train them all, gotta train them all. Okay, that was weird. This is Senna, <laughs> and we're now going to look at our new internees. Okay, so let's go choose our starter internee. Pikachu. This is already one of the students, this is Thomas. He was uh, last year one of my students, but yeah, he wasn't allowed to be with <laughs> me again because our science is too awesome. These are all the students of this year from the junior internship. And uh, they were just about to get water, so I will let them get water first and then we can go into some better sign. Waiting for lunch. Soup. Now I'm going to show you what to do after a week of growing your cells. So what we're going to do first is we're going to use trypsine, and this substance will allow us to decouple the cells from the surface of the flask. So first I'm going to add PBS to flush the cells to remove the cell medium because there are substances in the cell medium which can inhibit the working of the trypsine so that's why we need to flush them first. So uh, put it in a warm oven for about five minutes and then it's about right. One eternity later. So now that the trypsine has done its work, we're going to add cell medium to uh, the flask to inhibit the trypsine's further working. And then we're going to centrifuge off the cells and introduce them into a new culture flask. Okay, so now that we detached our cells and added the medium to the trypsine, we're going to put this tube into the centrifuge to push down our cells. Okay, so here you can see the clear cell pellet at the bottom. That's it for today. We did cell culturing, showed the internees around. See you next time on OMG at Science for another day of badass science. This is uh, Joris, he's doing uh, mass spectrometry at Biomed. Say hi to everyone, Joris. Hi everyone, I'm doing a lot of fun stuff here. You see, PhD is nothing but joy.